some days are a motherfucker. Some days are true horror shows. Fucking today was one of those days. I don't even know if I should be doing a video right now. Probably not. Probably not, but then when does that stop me from anything? Fighting a very, very, there's a very intense fucking civil war going on inside there. All day, it's been horrible. Fucking horrible. Makes me mad and fucking that I have to take control over my head and I fucking, they battling just to stay fucking sane. Uh, Never mind, forget doing anything worthwhile or meaningful today. You know, I, I, the only thing I did was go to the gym. Well, thank God that's the biggest thing, but other than that, my mind has been held like fucking hostage or something. You know, it gets me fucking mad. But I know getting mad doesn't necessarily help it. You know, anything, it probably agitates it. So I'm seeking to find another way of not getting mad when this kind of shit fucking happens. But I'm getting tested. I'm sick of fucking getting tested. Here's the deal, you know. See, I fall, I fall to pieces in a way, you know, when I separate from my girlfriend because uh, I, I know she's a good anchor of stability of normalness you know of uh, sane you know things with, with certain things like like for example how I've been working on stuff non-stop every fucking day from when I woke up so I go to sleep Every single day until up until today, without stopping once, haven't watched one movie, haven't watched one fucking uh, TV show, not one relaxation fucking thing at all, nothing, uh, just music, work stuff, music, work stuff, music, work stuff, video, us to this, snapping and running around, constant fucking movement. Why? Part of it is because you know I, I, I'm I'm missing her and stuff, and there's extra time, so. Rather than deal with it like that, I just think I escape it by uh, losing myself in work and tasks and things like that. And it, I do sometimes, but sometimes it's a hollow victory, you know. And I just got to realize and remember that, you know, these days come. Ow! It's in a while, you know. The real thing, I guess, about them is not so much what they do because they're a sucker punch and it's a ambush. It's not even a, a legit fucking a, a attack one. It's a, a one by cheap shot and fucking cowardice and stuff like that. But anyway. I guess the best way of fighting it and beating it, neutralizing it, maybe totally eradicate its whole effects is in the manner in how which you move on from it. And how good your ability is to not lock onto it, hold it, bring it with you everywhere you go, throughout the next few days or whatever. No. That, and that's what I got to learn to do too. So that's why I'm doing this one last little video, this little sound off. I don't even know if I'm ever going to put this up or not. But this is really just a, you know, because, you know, I, I, I wait all day to talk to her, right? And she's in Florida. Um, you know, her dad's dying and she's dealing with all that. So we don't talk that much, but. You know, once a day, you know, we have a video called talk and stuff still. And I wait all day and, and I, you know, to see her and talk to her, like, you know, in my head and I can't wait. And then when I get her on the phone, I do nothing but uh, 
annoy her and repel her and push her away. You know, like on the phone. I, I, the, the video with, uh, not intentionally, just with my overbearingness and stuff sometimes. Uh, most of the days I've been pretty good, but you know, today I was I, 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 <sighs> fucked up beyond all belief, you could say. This is how I've felt since the fucking morning after I ate breakfast. Out of nowhere, I just, oh, my stomach started feeling weird. My face got a little flushed. I got all fucking tired and shit. You know, but I rallied, rested, rallied, got up, did stuff. It's, you know, as long as I do stuff, especially during these horror show fucking terrible, horrible, bad fucking day, karma, terrible, bad fucking day, Weather-wise and everything, you know, that really added a huge thing to it. I didn't realize it till tonight. That I didn't see one ounce of the sun all day long. And I live for the sun. The sun powers me. I need the sun all the time. And I've been getting it all summer. It's been great. And fucking today, look, nothing. It was just the worst thing. A pure, gray, rainy, dreary Monday. Ugh. Oh, anything that takes the life out of you. You know, in the spitting rain, there's like a corpse uh, coughing on you. You know, a giant corpse coughing on everyone. <laughs> That's what it was. Disgusting, annoying, no sun. Oh, that fucked me up. I just remembered that. And I also know I found out tomorrow is going to be all sun. In the next couple of days. Thank God. I take it one day at a time. I need that sun, man. Because it does, I feel better, you know? And no wonder, because I couldn't do nothing today. And you go, great, great. <laughs> you know. The workout was, uh, uh, lackluster, you know? I mean, I went through the motions. I did the lifts I need to do. I did the cardio and treadmill and the stretching, all that stuff. But there's no fire tonight, you know. I wasn't trying to break the weights. I wasn't like a fucking man on a mission on fucking fire everywhere I go. I was more just like a regular person, like throwing it up and doing, oh, I can't wait to get out of here type thing, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I just don't like these kind of fucking days. You know, I don't like, I don't even like talking about them. I don't even like hearing this stuff, but it's true. And it's what happened. And it's how I feel. And in any of my, my philosophy way of doing these things, one of the benefits of doing these talking things is you get to exercise some bullshit, get it out really fully and it's gone. It's like healthy, like throwing up, you know. Just throwing up bad memories and bad things and getting it out there into the ether and it goes. I just don't know why I have trouble still controlling my emotions sometimes. I don't know why. I control them good a lot for most of the time, but not all the time. And that bothers me. I want it all the time. What good is it if it's not all the time? Again, so getting back to why when my girlfriend uh, ever goes somewhere, we split for a little bit, uh, my attitude and stuff uh, usually suffers a little bit. I, I, I'm more of a kind of a moody prick, I think, a little bit, it seems. Uh, I, I get way too serious. Again, you know, everything's life or death, you know, all the time. And I forget how to have fun. I forget how to loosen up. You know, and I think that's what she doesn't realize about me. You know, like, like she thinks I do that on purpose, but no, it's just like I get thrown out of track and then I got to get such a machine. I got to get back on again it, it, into it. I can't do it like that, you know, even though I want to. So, so that is essentially probably 90% of the problem I'm seeing now because I know when, like, She's over there with her family and stuff. They were watching a movie uh, and stuff all the time, like normal stuff. Like, like I have this problem. Like, like when I do that stuff, like I don't just earn it. Really, I should be doing other stuff. I want, you know, or it's either that or I just haven't found anything good enough to entertain me. But you know, when when uh, 
But she's here all the time. We always watch stuff every, you know, almost every night. And I got in the habit of it and learned how to do it. But now I just get in, real quick. I get into my new rut, the way I am by myself. And everything is death and war and uh, serious, you know, fucking strategy, plan, everything, you know. But obviously it can't be because if that was a good strategy, I'd still be doing it right now and I wouldn't have had any problems, right? No, but it went for a few days and then I kind of cracked a little bit because it's not a sound fucking plan. But then again, and two, I got to say to myself, self, how the fuck are you going to plan when you're always doing shit every fucking day and night? Got to stop and huddle a little bit, you know. It's just like I wrote one of my things, you know. The way I feel things is way intenser than other people. I think and loneliness. When I feel loneliness, loneliness uh, just comes up to me and stabs me without me even knowing it, uh, and boom, and then I got it. Or like the way depression drives a car into my back <clears throat> out of nowhere. And no one wants to hear this shit, right? In, in real life, in person. I, I try to open up and say this stuff sometimes to people and say what's wrong, what's the matter. Uh, and then I start doing it and then everyone's like, you got to just lighten up, you know. Open up, they say, lighten up. I try to open up, they say, lighten up. You see why I say, uh, you go fuck yourself with that. And I go my own way. Well, it just occurred to me, I'm still utterly fucking furious with myself. For some things today I've said and did. But I'm only reliving them and giving them power and making them worse by continuing to think about them and dwell on them, right? Right. I can't go upstairs and work on stuff or plan stuff because my mind is like like uh, squirming like a toad right now. So, I have to do the only thing that I can do that is right and not wrong and will not bring me more trouble and more grief and more aggravation and stuff. And what is that? <laughs> it's like, funny, no one has problems with this thing. I have trouble doing so much. Relaxing. Relaxing. So I'm going to do it, you know, and I think, I think in my mind, I just realized that I'm so furious at this fucked up day and my mistakes and just the way everything else went with it. And I, I made things worse too. It's just not how I am. You know, I haven't fucking been like that in a while. And as aggravated as I am, the one worst thing that I could top this fucking thing off with a nuclear cherry would be to let it get me frustrated and stay up again and be up anywhere between 3 a.m. and 6 or 7.30. Last night I went to bed early. Big win for me before 3 o'clock, 0 to 2.30. I'm going to do that shit again tonight if possible. Definitely impossible. girlfriend suggested before that I watch a funny movie tonight. I, I think she's right. I'm going to try maybe, maybe watch The Big Lebowski, Beverly Hills Ninja, or something. But I'm tired. I'm getting tired a little bit. You know, it was, it was good to spit this out a little bit because like I said, it's a lot like uh, verbal throwing up of bad crap, you know, that you don't want in there anymore. 
and I know if I don't say stuff like this, it won't just stay inside and evaporate and dissipate with no problems. No, it'll stay in there and cause all sorts of grief and cancer and aggravation and rage and all sorts of problems. So I get it, get it out and I can bark at the camera as much as I want. I can bark at it as much as I want. It's not a person. I don't have to worry about getting anyone upset or anything like that. And I just have to, I just have to start getting better at ending things. Pulling the plug, okay, and that's it. And also, being strict with myself with the with the bedroom. I mean, with the eat with the fucking going to sleep. Got to start meditating regularly again. A lot of things got to fucking do still, you know. But it's all right. I, I want things to do. That's good. All right. So I got it all out. I think. My crappy, horrible, horror show fucking day. And the other, the only way thing I can too say about this as far as fighting back and revenge with it, with these kind of fucking days, is you can't do nothing about the day already. Even if you were suckered and ambushed and fucking shit working against you behind your back. Nothing can happen in the days on you endured it. The ultimate way to nullify it completely is to completely fucking seal it and send it away and starve it to death for the next day and start over anew. Start over anew tomorrow and not carrying one fucking ounce of that shit into tomorrow. And pay double close attention to everything tomorrow. Make sure you do things right. And be a cool person. And be helpful and nice. And not fucking greedy. And uh, honest and all that. And just get through the day the right way. Don't judge. All that shit. That's, that's, that's a good plan. I look forward to tomorrow's video being better, uh, better spirits.